What's up guys, since Jojo Part 6 Stone Ocean is now airing, I thought I might as well talk about the Jojo references that can be found in both Index and Railgun that you might find interesting if you've never noticed them before. Jojo references can literally be found anywhere these days, and the Toaru franchise is no exception. After reading parts of the Index light novel, there are definitely some insane abilities and moments that were so absurd that it reminded me of Jojo. Anyway, I know I'm a Toaru focused channel, but I am also a big fan of Jojo as I've read the manga up to part 6, so I know exactly what's going to happen. And I should really start Steel Ball Run at some point as I've heard it's amazing, but it's just difficult finding the time to do it while you're doing YouTube and other stuff as well. Regardless, I hope you enjoy this collaboration between Toaru and Jojo, which isn't something you'd really see often from me, if at all. So let's waste no more time and get started. This first reference is only one you would be aware of if you have read the very first volume of Index. After Toma destroys Index's walking church and is bitten repeatedly by her, Index tries to scavenge what is remaining of her destroyed nun habit to which an ominous aura is described by the narration, which further clarifies that it wasn't because a new stand user has just attacked. Although it is kind of funny a couple scenes later, since Style Magnus attacks Index, and Style kind of looks like he could fit in Jojo, not gonna lie, and he even summons a fire monster called Inokentis with his magic which is kind of similar to how Stan uses summon stands to fight with. Coincidence? I think not. In Japan, there is a popular family restaurant chain called Jonathan's. That name should sound familiar to you, as Hirohiko Araki himself named the first Jojo, Jonathan Joestar, after this restaurant chain. The Jonathan's chain appears in both Index and Railgun, but like with many anime that feature real-life companies or restaurants, the name of the chain was altered to avoid copyright infringement. One of these restaurants that appears is aptly named Joseph's, which is a reference to the second Jojo, Joseph Joestar. And this reference was later confirmed as intentional by the Railgun editor Ogino Kentaro on Twitter. Another location in the series that also happens to be a Jojo reference is the Horace Pet Shop, which Congo visits to buy food for her pet snake. Pet Shop was Dio's Falcon, which guarded his headquarters in part 3 of Jojo, also known as Stardust Crusaders. And Pet Shop Stand, which utilised ice to impale intruders, was called Horace, after the Egyptian god which is known for having the head of a bird. Also, it could potentially be a reference to the YouTuber known as Aeon of Horus. Hmm. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet from looking at this image, why don't we take a closer look? What do you see? A small dog with a bird on its back. Surely this cannot be a coincidence. This surely is referencing both Iggy and Pet Shop. In Railgun T, episode 19, Frenda's reaction to eating mackerel curry references Okiasu in part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable, when he visits the Italian restaurant. He first proclaims that the food won't taste good, immediately followed by a large exclamation of him finding it delicious after which he states how the two ingredients blend amazingly together, enhance one another, and achieve a perfect harmony. This is repeated here in the episode with Frenda, stating she thinks the mackerel curry won't taste good, loudly finding it delicious, and then stating the two tastes pair well together, draw out each other's flavours even more, and achieve a synergy. If you remember how Joseph Joestar uses his stand ability, Hermit Purple, in part 3, then this manga panel might seem familiar. In Railgun Chapter 74, the Esper ability known as Photography is explained. The power 
allows the user to look into the future and allows them to display pictures of it in a medium. The Espers can apparently either use analog cameras for the photograph or use a digital camera. Finally, this last reference is from New Testament, basically the light novels that happen after season 3 of the anime in Index. So if you want to stay spoiler free for Index, then click off this video right now. A character called Fraulein Kroichun is introduced in the Ichihana Ransai arc, who is a mysterious immortal who Alistair Crowley imprisoned inside the windowless building. The illustrator of Index, Kiyotaka Haimura, notes that Kroichun reminded him of the Pillar Men from Part 2 Battle Tendency. At first, I was confused by this, as how is this pale woman who turns into a lolly the same as these ripped Aztec Giga Chads? But the more I thought about it, I started to see some similarities. As I've mentioned, she is an immortal, which is an attribute shared by the Pillar Men. And she is also set free in a similar fashion to how the Pillar Men are freed from their restraints. And her abilities are directly tied to her physical body, like how she implants a microscopic substance inside biological targets to make them faint or to destroy artificial targets from the inside. The Pillar Men's abilities are also mostly tied to extensions of their physical bodies. Also, she has purple hair like cars, but I still don't see the complete resemblance, not gonna lie. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this different video to the norm. I think I'll plan on doing some different videos rather than just doing the same character analysis or to error explain videos to spice it up because I don't like being too repetitive on this channel. Gotta try keep things interesting, of course. So yeah, let me know what you think of part six so far. And also, let me know what you think if the Jojo and Toaru universes somehow collided and it became some kind of fanfiction shit. Let me know what you think would happen if that ever happened somehow in some random ass collaboration, which will definitely not happen, but you never know. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.